Chapter 2, Mental Habits. I always found that, in my battle to conquer negativity and become more positive, that my mind was a major obstacle. So, I decided to tackle the mind and make major and progressive chance. I looked into the way that I thought about subjects and how it may have been holding me back. The answers that I got were pretty impressive, to be honest. I found that my life was going to become far more consistent simply by making the following changes. Each suggestion will ensure you develop positive, proactive mental habits that will instill you with a winning mentality. 1. Looking at negativity. Why will this help me become more positive? One of the most powerful changes that you can make, though, is to change how you view the world around you as a whole. How do you look at negativity? Applying the action for increased positivity. I started to simply take some time to be aware how negative I was during the day. I noticed how often I would go down the negative route, every day. How often should I practice? Every day. I found that the easiest way to simply change my mindset was to make myself aware of it. If I knew how negative that I was being, I might change. Life without this change. You'll just continue to let those negative thoughts run in the back of your mind. If you want to avoid this then you simply need to consider making time for consideration. Life with this change. The main reason that I would recommend going with this change is that it helps you become aware of your mentality, how badly does it need to change here. 2. Thinking about success. Why will this help me become more positive? Thinking about success is a great idea, simply being able to visualize what might be coming in the future is a powerful tool, and one that can improve your mentality. Applying the action for increased positivity. The easiest way to do this is to simply spend some time, five minutes even, thinking about your recent progress. Even if you're not successful yet, Keep thinking this way. How often should I practice? Every time you feel down about where you are and your progress. By making a simple adjustment you'll find it's much easier to stay on track with who you are. Life without this change. You'll just continue to let the good things pass you by and pay too little attention to the good things in your life. Take the time to understand your success. Life with this change. Taking the time to make this change, though, will make you far more appreciative of your progress. Remember, all good things will take time to change, including your mentality itself. 3. Contemplation Relation. Why will this help me become more positive? One of the smartest changes that I ever made to my life, though, was how often I would take the time to contemplate. I used to act on impulse, negatively. Applying the action for increased positivity. By changing to contemplation before taking action, I, and you, can become more positive. It allows you to see the good, whereas taking action usually means reacting to the negatives. How often should I practice? Every day. I found that simply taking a brief period of the day to look at where I was in my mind was a very healthy pastime, helping me focus. Life without this change. I quickly noticed that failing to do this usually meant that my life would become more confusing, and I would spend too much time just reacting to situations without facts. Life with this change. This simple change was something that helped me to stop making mistakes. Now, I'm more calculated and take less risks, instead deciding to act on facts instead of half-truths. 4. Noting your positivity. Why will this help me become more positive? How often do you actually note in your mind that you were being positive? It's one of the most affirming actions you can possibly do when signifying your positivity. 
applying the action for increased positivity. I simply found that taking 5 minutes of the day to look at a happy memory in the morning was a good way to change my mindset from negative to positive. How often should I practice? Every single morning. Just a quick reminisce about something that happened in your life can be enough to get you out of bed with a smile on your face, rather than a frown. Life without this change. You might find that you don't need this in your life at all, and that's totally fine. However, others will feel far more comfortable making this change. Life with this change. Simply taking those 5 minutes to noting good experiences in the past can be enough to make you feel far more comfortable with who you are, and where you're going. 5. Detailing the positives. Why will this help me become more positive? One problem that I and others tend to have is always listing our negatives in a situation. Rather than looking at the problem, though, why not start looking for solutions? Applying the action for increased positivity. Simply swap the way of thinking around on any problem. Instead of lamenting the existence of the problem, start examining viable solutions that might help you correct this issue later. How often should I practice? I had to do this more or less every day for a while. Eventually, though, it became second nature and instead of lamenting issues I started to appreciate finding solutions. Life without this change. You'll keep feeling like the world is against you, and that there is no significant way to step forward and make your life easier. Without this change, negativity will prevail. Life with this change. Swapping to this change of mindset, though, will mean problems are just that a problem. You'll keep your feet on the ground more often and will likely find solutions easier. 6. Challenging assumptions. Why will this help me become more positive? How often do you challenge how you think about a certain situation? If you don't, then it's time to do so. Challenging assumptions will help you ensure you're always adapting. Applying the action for increased positivity. It's very easy to never challenge our beliefs and assumptions, but you could be being needlessly negative. Instead, ask yourself why that train of thought exists, and if it's legitimate. How often should I practice? Any time you find yourself going down a negative spiral of thought. Hop online and have a look for what you're so worried about. Is the original belief you had really so applicable? Life without this change. Many choose to avoid going down this route as they don't like to be told they are wrong. Being wrong, though, is not a negative, it's another learning experience. Life with this change. You'll feel far less entrenched and likely to be less threatened by a difference of opinion. This is one of the most positive actions that you can take. 7. Accepting your success. Why will this help me become more positive? Many of us, me included for a long time, simply cannot accept when we are a success. We like to think luck was involved, or that it was a mistake. Applying the action for increased positivity. If this is how you feel then the next time it comes around in your head, ask a few people that you trust to give you the truthful answer back. How often should I practice? Whenever you feel this crisis of confidence coming on. It's a dangerous problem and one that will just make you feel worse most likely. Avoid it by asking whenever it comes on. Life without this change. You'll continue to knock down your achievements whilst fixating on your failures. This builds a negative mindset and is the worst direction to go down for a positive action driven life. Life with this change. You'll become far more comfortable, and aware, of your successes and failures in life. This will ensure you can continue to develop, without always seeing yourself as failing. 8. 
reviewing your failures. Why will this help me become more positive? By taking the time to actually look at why you failed, you can find it much easier to find solutions. Many of us know that we failed, but why? Applying the action for increased positivity. Simply sit down and write down 5 reasons why you failed. Now, you know what you have to work on it might hurt doing this but it's about as positive an action as you can get. How often should I practice? Taking this on is going to make your life much easier than ever before, so do it every time you fail. Failure is a journey, not the destination. Life without this change. If you don't try to change this then you can prepare for a life of self-deprecating and a lack of self-belief. By reviewing failure, solutions become viable. Life with this change. By looking and reviewing your success and failure it will become much easier to stay on the right track. It'll also greatly increase the chances of finding a long-term solution. 9. Mind Games Why will this help me become more positive? How often do you just memorize a little poem or a piece of writing? Doing this can be a very powerful way to make sure you've always got a challenge. Applying the action for increased positivity. Challenges are great for helping us learn salient points and words of wisdom. Take a poem from the internet every morning and try to memorize the words by the day's end. How often should I practice? Every day, even if you feel more comfortable working with one poem per week, do it. Challenges are excellent and help us see our own skills and talents accordingly. Life without this change. You'll doubt your ability to learn and take on new skills. By memorizing a new poem every week, you also improve your overall knowledge of culture and arts accordingly. Life with this change. Going down this route is very useful as it will ensure that you can get the help you need to showcase your mental and memory skills, if you doubt they exist. 10. Force of Attraction. Why will this help me become more positive? Have you ever spent the day just wishing for something to be? If not, you have to begin. Spend 5 to 10 minutes at night just dreaming of what you want in life. Applying the action for increased positivity. The reason for doing this is simple just drop into your mind and you'll see what you really want. Let your fantasies take control and you'll find fresh ambition. How often should I practice? Every day. Any days which are spent not in pursuit of these goals and reaching them is a day wasted. You should always have a goal which is driven by desire. Life without this change. You will likely never have a solid and significant path to follow. Without knowing what you want to achieve it will naturally become harder to achieve those goals in time. Life with this change. By creating a clear part of your mind where this is addressed, though, you should find it easier to visualize and then work towards the thing you want in life. Chapter 3, Emotional Habits. To be a success you need to be in full control of your emotions. However, most people can struggle to get to this point, so, in this section, I've broken down some of the tips I used to get there. Positive actions and changes in your life needs to have a strong baseline behind it and it's something that matters massively for a strong, secure lifestyle. To make you are affecting your life in as many ways as you can try and use some of the topics and tips below that I used to balance and alleviate your mind's madness. 1. Meditate for success. Why will this help me become more positive? As I continued to try and change elements of my personal life, one of the major issues that I found was that my mind was always full, meditation helps. Applying the action for increased positivity. This is the magic of meditation there is no set one way to do it, no magic trick. 
you do it in the way that suits you best, nobody else. How often should I practice? Every single day. It has been the single greatest change that I have made to my life. Meditation has helped me to clear my mind of junk, and become more positive. Life without this change I genuinely don't want to go back to that, and once you have meditated, neither will you. Concentration, motivation and overall ability to succeed goes through the roof when meditating. Life with this change. Life with the change that this will bring is like a new beginning entirely, it changed my entire perspective on the world. Now, I'm more upbeat and take considerations seriously. 2. Diaphragmatic Breathing Why will this help me become more positive? I began to use diaphragmatic breathing two years ago and it has helped me to calm down, take stock of situations, and deal with situations in a mature, rational manner. Applying the action for increased positivity. All you need to do is learn how to take deep breaths in a slow manner. We all have our own preference of depth and time, so check online to find help in diaphragmatic breathing in a way you feel comfortable with. How often should I practice? Every day, once you get the knack of this breathing technique you'll want to be using it all the time. It's a great way to clear the mind and just break free of your struggles for a moment. Life without this change. I found that my days were more hectic and that I would go from one problem to the next. This allows me to analytically solve problems. Life with this change. I feel happier, healthier, more confident when in trouble, and sharper than ever before. 3. Walking Meditation Why will this help me become more positive? A simple technique that I was shown by a friend was to go through with the practice of daily walking meditation, which is a skill I've been using every day. Applying the action for increased positivity The easiest way to learn about walking meditation is to check out this guide. In the guide you'll see how it can help you out in general and improve function. How often should I practice? Basically, I practiced this every day for about two months. From there I started to really change the way that I was operating and soon became far more comfortable dealing with tricky subjects. Life without this change. I believe that without this change I would still be quite erratic and likely to walk into errors that could have been avoided. With the help of this form of meditation, it's easier to get mental clarity even when busy. Life with this change. Now, problems are no longer such an obstacle as I approach them with a rested, balanced mind. 4. Identifying emotions. Why will this help me become more positive? A major issue that I and many others face is a struggle to portray and understand our emotions. Does this sound like a problem you are facing? Then simple identification helps. Applying the action for increased positivity. Take four or five words to describe how you feel, and research them all online. By doing this I find it easier to identify where I'm at emotionally. How often should I practice? I now do this on a daily basis, it just helps me to work out where I am in my mind. A reframing of the thought can be enough to make it easier to get through a problem with minimal fuss. Life without this change. Life without this kind of change is quite tough I would find it hard to revert now. However, it mainly helps as it allows me to know exactly how I really feel. Life with this change. Now, I am less likely to react negatively to a situation, instead being able to analyze before deciding. 5. Putting perspective together. Why will this help me become more positive? One of the most important elements of those days where negativity is winning is to take 10 minutes just to put things into perspective, helping me appreciate success and failure. 
applying the action for increased positivity. The reason why this matters to me so much is because it's so easy simply take a look at your own situation, and google it. I guarantee you'll find someone in a far worse situation, unable to get out from it. How often should I practice? I do this on the days when I feel like I cannot muster any positivity. A bit of perspective helps us realize just how much we appear to be overblowing situations. Life without this change. Life without going through this change would be pretty tough now. Such a simple way of reflecting my insecurities can be immensely powerful. Life with this change. Now, I'm less likely to get caught up in invalidated wallowing and am more likely to strive on, battle through, and find an active solution. 6. 5 Minute Breaks Why will this help me become more positive? How often do you find that your mind is shot but you try and work on? I've wasted many hours of my life doing this. Simply stopping for a 5 minute break can help you avoid this problem. Applying the action for increased positivity. The break is easy to apply, shut the screen, lock the PC, and close your eyes. If you work physically, just take a brief moment to close your eyes and work out what's next. How often should I practice? I used to do this most days, and it eventually became a habit. For every hour that you work a quick 5 minute resting of the eyes allows you to recalibrate before continuing. Life without this change. You'll likely find yourself working at half capacity when you feel tired, which is a common reason why we all feel O negative. Life with this change. If you make this change, you'll be far less likely to actually continue making mistakes and will be more accurate when working. 7. You are what you eat. Why will this help me become more positive? Many of us look to blame our bodies for putting on weight. Accepting that our food plays a critical role in life is a simple starting point for positive thinking. Applying the action for increased positivity. The idea here is simple, look at what you eat, and realize how much it plays a part in how you feel. What we eat determines how we feel during the day, after all. How often should I practice? Take a note of what you eat for two weeks, as well as brief notes on how you felt. Record how your food appears to be affecting or limiting your emotions, and whether it may have to change. Life without this change. Life without putting this change in place can be quite tough to come to come to terms with. Your lack of mobility and your overall quality of life will be reduced as you never address why you feel that way. Life with this change. Life becomes easier when we eat right a simple. If you give your body the right kind of nutrition and help, then it's bound to get through the day better. If we feed our bodies right, then problems and negativity will be less of a burden to fix. If there is one part you should introduce into your life, it's diet planning. 8. Handling negative emotions. Why will this help me become more positive? Handling negative emotions and confronting why they exist is better for the mind and the soul than just letting them fester. Remember these emotions are only temporary. Applying the action for increased positivity. Every time you feel yourself going down this kind of mental path, remind yourself it only lasts for a while. Sadness is never permanent especially with a mindset against it. How often should I practice? Every time you feel sad or down. The more you remind yourself that it's a fleeting emotion and not how you permanently feel then life becomes so much easier later. Life without this change. You'll likely continue to feel like your emotions in the moment should define your day. By using emotions in this way you also greatly limit how far you can go. Life with this change. 
However, making the change means that when negative emotions come along they are less likely to hold you back as you know that, in time, these feelings will pass along. 9. Sitting outside. Why will this help me become more positive? I found that simply 10 minutes of time spent around nature reminded me how beautiful the world that we live in can be, when we stop concentrating on the negativity around us. Applying the action for increased positivity. The easiest one yet just go and sit outside. Leave the phone inside and just appreciate the world around you. Listen to the animals and just enjoy tranquility. How often should I practice? Every day that you have time and weather permits. Spending time outside in the world can be great for just letting the world pass you by and letting your mind reset. Life without this change. You'll continue to live your life in strict and vertical bar out methods. Instead, try and concentrate on less binary thinking and spend a little bit of each day outside enjoying reality. Life with this change. This improves mentality massively as you should find it much easier to appreciate where you are at as a person whilst also helping your mind slow down a little bit. 10. Mental redirection. Why will this help me become more positive? Do you find yourself always going to the negative first? Then look at the thoughts prior to the negativity what caused it? Applying the action for increased positivity, basically, I found by just looking at what took me down a negative path I could find solutions and avoid that in future. How often should I practice? It's hard in my mind it happens a lot. Just redirecting the horror of a problem to why it occurred can be very useful, though. Life without this change. You'll just continue to feel upset and angry, never looking at why negativity wins. Life with this change. If you change, you can start challenging negativity and finding solutions to what causes this thinking, 